COVID story number five, public transport. Laszlo didn't have a choice. His father was using one car. His bitch sister got ahead of him borrowing his mum's car, which in fairness was really his. I mean, he used it all the time. So there's that. Anyway, what this all amounted to was that he was waiting on the damn bus. It's not that he didn't like taking the bus. He hated taking the bus. It was for old, sick or poor people. And if he could help it, he would never see the inside of a bus for the rest of his life. However, his apartment was too far to walk with these two heavy bags of canned goods and they were cutting off the circulation in his fingers. To top it all off, he was hungry. He had munched his way through a bag of dry pretzels, which helped, but when he emptied the bag into his mouth, he had inhaled the salty dust and he just couldn't get it clear. The lockdown was to begin in one hour. He was going to make it, but only just. He watched the bus approach. The driver was wearing a mask and gloves. Good start. When he tried to board at the front, the driver snapped at him, pointing to the signs and rolling his eyes. That's when he noticed that all the front seats of the bus were taped off, keeping passengers back, creating a safe zone for the driver. Nice plan, thought Laszlo, but that means less space for the passengers, which means we have to be closer together. Ugh, nobody better be sick. Laszlo boarded the bus, which was half empty, and found the seat most equidistant from the other passengers. He realised as he looked around that everyone else on the bus had a face mask but him. Great, he thought, they're all sick. He cursed his sister and her foresight and scrunched himself into the tiniest ball up against the window. But when he flopped down, another crumb dislodged itself in his windpipe. Laszlo raised his hand and coughed into it. Oops, he thought, should have gone for the elbow. He gave a sheepish smile at the people close to him, but they returned only stony stares. The crumb tickled his airways once again. This time Laszlo managed to get his elbow up in time. Better, he thought. He gave a deep, harsh, dry cough, trying to get the last of the pretzel out of his throat, when he realised that everyone was staring at him. An old man just ahead of him sneered at him from behind a thin hospital mask. He said simply, you asshole. Laszlo was taken aback. No. A woman across from him let out a wordless yelp. He looked over at her and her face was kind of a purple colour she was so angry. When she spoke it was with a high-pitched fury. How dare you? Well, Laszlo tried to explain the whole pretzel situation but that damn crumb rattled inside his throat and he doubled over coughing instead. One bag of canned food tipped off his lap scattering cans all over the floor of the bus. And when he tried to catch it, the second one went. And that's when he felt something hit him. A young woman behind him, like a businesswoman, had thrown something at him. A magazine flopped to the floor. He blinked at her. Are you crazy? It's a crumb. He watched as a young man down the back of the bus stopped one of his rolling cans with his foot and picked it up. Lasla was about to thank him, when the man hurled the can with all his might, catching Laszlo above the eyebrow. Laszlo looked around. This couldn't really be happening. The faces around him blended together into a single creature, united in hatred. For him. Out of the corner of his eye, he spied the old man pick up another of the stray cans. He held out his hands to stop and went crack. From behind, thrown with righteous anger thrown so hard that light flashed across his vision. Not stars, nothing as sweet as that. It was dangerous light, a deadly light, a warning flash that all was not well. He spun around expecting to see the young dude again, but no, it was the well-dressed woman. You're going to kill us all. Laszlo tried to speak, but another can struck him right on the ear, then another from behind and from the front, and suddenly it was a deadly rain of canned food. All the helplessness, all the fear, all the frustration and anger unleashed in a flash in this young man. Within less than a minute, it was all over. The bus driver, caught up in his own world, only just noticed something was happening when a blood splattered can bounced up inside his safe zone. He pulled over to a stop, opened the doors, and the bus emptied as he ran back. 
There was no one left on the bus, and all that was left of Laszlo was a bloody mess and 25 cans of miscellaneous food.